The Green Hornet. He hunts the biggest of all game, public enemies who try to destroy our America. With his faithful valet Cato, Britt Reed, a daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld, risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Britt Reed in the thrilling adventure, Oliver Perry tries once more. The Green Hornet strikes again. Following her usual morning routine, Lenore Case, secretary to Britt Reed, was opening the morning mail before taking it in to the young publisher. She looked up as the door to her office opened and Mike Axford entered. Morning, Casey. Oh, late as usual, huh, Michael? Oh, tell me Reed's in his office already. Yes, he is. <gasps> Good heavens, I've got to show this to Mr. Reed right away. Well, what is it? Wait, I'm coming with you. Mr. Reed, look at this. Uh, hi, Reed. What is it, Miss Case? This. It was in an envelope I just opened. But what's it say? What's all the excitement? Well, let me see it, Miss Case. Here it is. This is strange. You could have knocked me down with a feather when I saw it. What do you think it means? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Well, suffering snakes. Why don't you read what it says so I can be in on the mystery? It doesn't say anything. No, don't tell me that, Casey. Come on, Reed. What does it say in that letter? This case told you the truth, Axford. There's no writing on this paper. Look for yourself. Holy crow! A blank piece of writing paper with the seal of the green harnet stuck right plumb in the middle. Later that same morning, Axford returned from police headquarters. Casey, is Reed okay? You haven't let anyone into his office, I hope. Oh, relax, watch dog. Mr. Reed isn't even in his office. He left right after you did. What? You mean after getting that seal from the harness, he went out alone? That's what I mean. But you should have stopped him from going. You should have made him stay right in his office. <laughs> oh, what do you want me to do, knock him down and sit on him all day? When Mr. Reed decides to go out, he goes out without asking my permission or yours. But it's serious, Casey. Maybe he'll get kidnapped. Maybe. Or hurt. Could be. Or even killed, maybe. Oh, for the love of heaven, Michael, stop it. I'm jumpy enough without you talking that way. Anyway, Mr. Reed's been threatened before, and he seemed to know how to take care of himself. I ain't going to stay right here till Reed comes back. And believe me, Casey, after he does come back, I'm not leaving his side for even one minute. You can bet on that. Meantime, Britt Reed went to his apartment where Cato, his faithful Filipino valet, and the only person knowing his identity as the Green Hornet was busy cleaning the living room. Oh, I not expect you home for lunch, Mr. Britt. 
I didn't come home to eat, Cato. I came to discuss something with you. Well, what happened? I received this at my office this morning. Oh, shades of ancestors. Well, that's not good. It looked like someone knew that you're a real hornet. That's the way it struck me. Well, how do you think he get hornet seal? It looked like a genuine one. It's genuine, all right. Of course, as the green hornet, I've left many of them in various places. The thing that worries me is the motive in sending it to me. Well, maybe it's wise you notify the police. The police have been told, Kitty. I gave Axford permission to tell them when he went to headquarters. I didn't call them immediately because I wanted to get out before they sent a plain clothesman to shadow me as a bodyguard. I prefer to work this out alone. Well, what you do about it? I don't know. I just can't figure out what anyone would expect to gain by sending that to me. It would seem like if someone have definite proof that Britt Reed is Green Hornet, then he go to police quick without giving you warning of his knowledge. Yes, that's the way I look at it. Well, who can that be? Well, I go see. Well, there's no one here, Mr. Britt. Well, that's strange. Maybe someone rang by mistake. Well, whoever ring, get around corner and corridor quick. They not want to be seen. Come on, we'll have a look. We don't have time to go far. No, but the service door's around there. Corridor empty. Cato, quick. It might be a trick. Get back to the apartment. Oh, I not think. Maybe someone wants to get inside. That's right. Well, if anyone inside, they're not able to get out except this way. Well, go in and look around. If anyone got into my safe, I'd... What's that? What you see, Mr. Britt? There on the floor inside the door. It's a letter. Come inside and close the door. Do you think someone leave letter just now? Yes, of course. There's no stamp on it. Cato, look here. That same as other. It's sheet of paper with hornet seal in middle. This is serious. Someone evidently is shadowing me. He knew I came here to my apartment. But what anyone think to gain by leaving hornet seals? Playing sort of a war of nerves, Cato. Perhaps hoping that I'll make some move that'll give him definite proof that I really am the Green Hornet. Well, police find many hornet seals. Maybe it's some trick of official at headquarters to get proof against Britt Reed. Yes, it could be. But first, they'd have to have something that caused them to suspect me. I've always been careful where the police are concerned that I feel certain they have no such cause. Maybe if we plan fake kidnapping of Britt Reed by Green Hornet... It confused person who sends seals. No, Kato. A move like that may be just what he's looking for. I think the best thing to do right now is to ignore the letters and let him make the next move. Oh, that perhaps better to do. Kato, finding this note here changes things. I guess I'll return to the Sentinel building after all. Meantime, make sure no one gets into this apartment under any circumstances. I'll be careful. If anything suspicious happens around here, let me know at once. This will come into the open sooner or later. Until it does, we'll just watch and wait. I'll see you later, Kate. Britt Reed returned to his office and busied himself at his desk, while Axford sat in the outer office, determined not to let Reed out of his sight again. It was mid-afternoon when... Yes, Miss Case? A man from the Urban Real Estate Company is on line one, Mr. Reed. He says it's very important that he speak to you. All right, I'll take the call. Yes, sir. Hello? Mr. Reed, I'm calling from the Urban Real Estate Company. Yes, I know. What can I do for you? Well, there's an old brick building fronting on the side street near your apartment building. Oh, uh, what about it? We found out that you own that building. Uh, yes, yes, I do. So what? We have a client who wants to buy the building at your price. We'd like to bring them over to go through it. The building is not for sale. Well, I, I don't think you understand, Mr. Reed. You can ask whatever you want for it. I'm positive he'll pay it. But, of course, he does want to look it over. He wants the building regardless of its condition. I'm sure of that. I'm sorry, but that building is not for sale. I want it myself. I hope to use that property for an important project in the future. Oh, but, Mr. Reed, after all... The answer got... is still no. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh. <sighs> Now someone's interested in looking over the old building in which we hide the Black Beauty. I wish I knew just who that someone is. It was a little more than an hour later when Britt Reed received another phone call. Hello? Mr. Reed? 
Yes, this is Britt Reed. This is Bill Weber, the fire marshal. Oh, hello, Weber. How are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, listen, Mr. Reed, I've had a complaint concerning the old building you own on that side street near your apartment building. I was given to understand that you're storing inflammable materials in there. But that's not true, Weber. You can take my word for it. That's just it, Mr. Reed. I can't take your word for it. I'll have to send an inspector out there to look it over. That's the law. I have to follow up every such complaint. I see. Well, um, I'll tell you what, Marshal. I have certain reasons why I don't want people to go inside that building, but uh, rather than to appear obstinate about it, I'll agree to its inspection. That is, if you'll agree to do the inspecting yourself as a favor to me. Well, all right. I will do it myself. When may I go to see it? I'll meet you there at 5 o'clock and take you inside myself. Fine. I knew you'd cooperate. Of course, any time. I'll see you at 5, then. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll have to call Cato on the private line. So there's somebody who's sending those seals is trying to get proof against me by finding the black beauty, eh? At least I know he hasn't any evidence yet. I'd like to. Mr. Reed's apartment? Cato, listen closely. At five o'clock, I'm taking the fire marshal into the old building for an inspection. Oh, that seemed like a mysterious person who sent letters trying to get evidence. Yes. Fortunately, we're prepared for the day when we might be forced to take someone inside the Black Beauty's hiding place. So you know what to do before the fire marshal and I arrive. Yes, sir. I have everything prepared. Good. You can look for us around five. Keep out of sight. I'll take him directly to the old door that opens into the side street building. Yes, sir. Everything be in readiness. I look for you at five. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cato. Well, Marshal, you'll be the first to see inside of this building. Well, I'm curious, Mr. Aiden. Come right in. Well, here it is. Now you can check for yourself. Well, I'd never believed it. Fully equipped laboratory, looks like. Well, that's that's right. You see, I dabbled in amateur photography for one thing, and, well, I like to think I'm scientific in a mild sort of way. Of course, I don't go in for experimenting with explosives or anything like that. Well, uh, this looks fireproof enough to suit me, Mr. Reed. I, I uh, hope you'll overlook the inconvenience I've caused you. When we get such a complaint, it uh, has to be investigated. I know. Oh, by the way, uh, can you tell me who made the complaint, Marshal? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> I suppose it's all right to tell you. A uh, complaint was made by a Mr. Perry... Perry? Yes, he left a phone number at my office with a request that I let him know the outcome of the investigation. I'm telling him he owes you an apology. Oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter at all. Well, I'll be on my way now. Goodbye, Mr. Reed. Goodbye, Marshal. Cato. I hide in dark room to listen. I knew you'd be hiding in here somewhere. Did you hear what the Marshal said? Oh, yes, sir. Marshal seemed quite satisfied. I hear him say complaint put in by a Mr. Perry who... Mr. Britt, you not think... Yes, Cato, I do. I feel quite sure the Mr. Perry who put in that complaint is none other than Oliver Perry, the famous detective who has made several attempts to connect me with the Green Hornet. Mr. Oliver Perry evidently has decided to try again. continue our Green Hornet adventure in just a moment.
After hearing Britt Reed say he felt sure the man who had complained to the fire marshal was none other than Oliver Perry, the well-known detective, Cato stood for a moment in silence. Then he spoke. You think he's the person who sends seals? Yes. He's the type who do something like that, hoping I'd make some slip or other. Well, you think he have idea old building is a hiding place of black beauty? No, I don't think so. In that case, all he'd have to do would be to shadow the place until he saw us go out sometime. Well, what you think then? I think he found out that I owned this building. And he hoped to find some evidence inside that would connect Britt Reed with the Green Hornet. It wouldn't seem logical to him any more than it would to the police that I'd keep the black beauty so close to my living quarters. Well, what you think he'd do next? Well, that's hard to say. But we'll have to be on guard. When he finds out this is a photographic laboratory, he might decide to try to investigate on his own in hopes of finding some photographic evidence proving I'm the Hornet. Well, perhaps it better we not elevate Black Beauty from basement. We leave laboratory on street level like this, then I keep close watch. That's a good idea, Kato. Something tells me we may have a visit from Perry here in the laboratory tonight. After receiving instructions from Britt Reed, Cato went to the laboratory carrying a large envelope containing certain incriminating items. Laying the envelope on a nearby table, Cato partly opened a drawer in a filing cabinet, leaving it that way. Then he pretended to be busy developing photographs. It was almost an hour later when he heard a sound at the door. Someone tried keys and lock. A light not discernible from outside. I hurry, phone police. I hope you not find right key till I finish talking. Oh, hurry. Hello, police station? You come quick. Burglar tried to break into old building on side street near Reed Apartment House. Yes, sir. You hurry, please. He's coming in. What the... You're not coming here. Don't move. You're coming. Must put away envelope. Hey, wait. I told you not to move. What did you put in that file drawer? It's something very private. Oh, in dim light, I not first know you. You, Mr. Perry. Very clever, aren't you? Pretending you didn't recognize me. It was because you did recognize me that you put something in that file drawer. I knew you the minute I came in. You're Britt Reed's valet. Is that true? But I have right to be here. You will not have right. You put gun away and leave now. Look, you. I'm keeping you covered with this gun. What's more, I'll use it. If you don't open that file drawer within the next few minutes. Contents of file cabinet belong to Mr. Reed. I'll not let you see them. I think you will. All I'm interested in at the moment is the envelope you picked up and just threw in there. Get it for me. No. I sure you not dare shoot gun. Oh, no. Well, I'm sure that envelope contains certain proof against Britt Reed that I've been trying to get for a long time. I'll risk shooting you all right. Because I know that when the police see what's in that envelope, they'll thank me for what I've done. Now, will you open that file case? I not open it. All right, my stubborn Filipino friend. I'll give you exactly five minutes by this watch. If within that time you don't unlock that file cabinet... I'll use this gun on you. Shoot off the lock and get that envelope myself. Now, take your choice. You have less than one minute left. Are you going to get that envelope? But it's not good if police get evidence from envelope. I knew it. Now you admit its importance. Listen to me, you fool. I really mean what I say. You have now only uh, 40 seconds, and I... Put on that gun! Uh, Drop it, I say! The police! Drop it, or... Uh... Hey, wait a minute, officer. When you hear what I have to say, you'll Holy thank me... Sarge, that's Oliver Perry who was holding the gun on Cato. Oliver Perry, you say? Glory be so tis. Say, what's the idea, anyhow? Well, this man, Mr. Perry, he used skeleton key to force way into laboratory. He pulled gun... Tell me to open file cabinet so he able to steal papers. Illegal entry, is it? Attempted robbery with a lethal weapon. <laughs> I always said private detectives went too far for their own good. Hold on, Sergeant. 
There's a certain envelope in that top file drawer. I'm sure it contains evidence that will prove the identity of the Green Hornet. What's that you say? Well, that's not true, Mr. Sergeant. Suffering snakes. If Reed had anything like that, he'd hand it over to the cops. He wouldn't hold back evidence like that. And to my way of thinking, anybody who says he would... Wait, wanted... Mike. Hold on. Cato, you know what's in that envelope? I... Yes, sir. I know. There, see? Let him show it to you, then. And if he refuses... I insist you get a search warrant and go through that file cabinet tonight. Listen to that sneak who breaks into people's places and then talks about insisting on a search warrant. For two pins or less, oh, wait, I bet you... Wait, Miss Ox. Look, Cato. It would be better to produce that envelope now. Otherwise, after what's been charged, they'll have to come back with a search warrant. Go ahead, Cato. Reed has nothing to hide. Well, since there's nothing else to do... Now, Sergeant, I feel sure you're going to get a real surprise. Your envelope, Mr. Sergeant. Yeah. Let me open it. <coughs> what's in it, Sarge? Great day. What's this? Am I right, Sergeant? Is it evidence? It's evidence, all right. This is an enlarged photocopy of a fingerprint on a blank page with a hornet seal in the center. And this one is a copy from headquarters that was sent to Britt Reed some time ago. A copy of fingerprints taken from his wall safe. Fingerprints that proved to be yours, Perry. What? Holy cow. All these prints match which proves that you, Oliver Perry, sent these hornet seals to Mr. Reed. Now we've got an additional reason to take you in. Blackmail. No, wait, there's some mistake. No, it's all here, Perry. How'd you get these prints, Cato? We bring out prints on blank paper with seal right here in laboratory. We try just for fun. <laughs> well, you sure did a good job. <laughs> and Perry himself insisted we look into that envelope. Take him along, boys. A short time later, Britt Reed was in his apartment with Cato. And while awaiting word from police headquarters, they were listening to a news broadcast over the radio. That's the way the situation abroad stands at the moment. Now, here's the local news item that's just come in. Oliver Perry, the detective, has just been taken into custody for sending green hornet seals to Britt Reed, publisher of the Daily Sentinel, and for breaking into Mr. Reed's private laboratory. Formal charges have not yet been made, but it is expected that before the night's over, Perry may be... Shut off the radio, Kato. Yes, sir. ...provided that the police... De- Hello? Yes? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yes, Sergeant Burke. When do you want me to appear? I see. All right, I'll be right down. Yes, that's right. Thanks for calling. Bye. Cato, I'm going down to police headquarters to face Oliver Perry and see about preferring charges. You want me to drive you down, Mr. Brick? No, Cato, I'll take the coupe. There's something else I want you to do. Now listen carefully, and I'll tell you exactly what it is. Here's Reed now, sir. Well, good evening, Sergeant Burke. I came as soon as I got your call. Evening, Mr. Reed. I guess you've met this guy before, Oliver Perry. Yes. I've had that doubtful pleasure. Look here, Mr. Reed. This is all a big mistake. Seems to me, Perry, you're always making mistakes when you cross my path. My valet told me what happened. It was hard to believe. After what he did last time when he tried to get into your wall safe, I don't think anything's hard to believe about that guy, Reed. Well, there's something in that, too, Axford. What's the procedure now, Sergeant? Well, it's up to you to prefer charges against Perry, Mr. Reed. We can book him for blackmail, illegal entry, or armed robbery, if you say so. Well, it's an impressive list of crimes, eh, Perry? Now, see here, Mr. Reed. I'm ready to admit I'm wrong in my suspicions against you. Oh, did you suspect me of something, Perry? That's interesting. You know Don well. All I know, Perry, is you've proved to be a big nuisance to me on several occasions. And I'm through putting up with it. That's the way to talk, Reed. If he's found guilty on any one of these three counts, Mr. Reed, he ought to be out of your hair for at least five years. That would be a relief. Now, hold on, Mr. Reed. Maybe I have been overzealous in my determination to run down the Green Hornet and in thinking that you... Glory be! Suffering snakes, the Hornet, come on! Against the front door, Sergeant. Give me that. Get out some squad cars after the Hornet. Hurry up. Right. What is that, Sergeant? A rock with a note tied to it. Let's see that thing. Read the note, Sergeant. Well, let me untie it first. There. There. 
Well, what's it say? It says, warning to Oliver Perry. What? That's what it says. Listen to the rest of it. It says, I heard on a news broadcast about Perry using seals like mine. From now on, I'm out to get him. And on the bottom is a hornet seal. You don't say. To my way of thinking, Perry will be better off in jail after all. Sure. With a hornet out to get you, Perry, you're sure in a bad fix. Do you really think that's from the Green Hornet? Of course it was the hornet. We all vouch for that. Yes, Perry, sure. it looks bad for you one way or the other. Why, uh, I guess I've messed things up pretty badly this time. Perry, I've been thinking it over. There's a plane from the airport in about an hour. If Sergeant Burke will send one of his men to make sure you go down that plane, I'll refuse to press charges against you. Well, no, that's what I call a swell offer, Perry. You better jump at it. Yes. Yes, of course I accept. And, Mr. Reed, I apologize for causing you so much trouble. Keep your apologies, Perry. I've heard too many of them already. Just make certain you get on that plane tonight. All right. Shall I leave now, Sergeant? Take him to the airport, Cassidy. See that he leaves on that plane. Okay, Sarge. Come on, Perry. Goodbye, Mr. Reed. For the last time, goodbye. Man alive. <laughs> he sure looks sad like. Perry made a mess of things this time. Yes, didn't he? You did a nice job tonight, Sergeant. I congratulate you. Oh, well. <laughs> sure, and we only do our duty, Mr. Reed. Of course, we do have a fine department, thanks to a good city government. <laughs> yes. The people really knew for whom they were voting when they put in our mayor. He's done a lot for the force. Well, I guess I'll run along. Coming, actually? Yeah, guess I might as well. You missed all the excitement, of course, sitting at home through it all. But I'm sure we're out with all that Perry mix-up. <laughs> Poor Cato looks scared to death, that she did. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you think the Green Hornet was really sore at Oliver Perry like he said in that note? Well, I wouldn't be surprised, Axford. He was probably just as sore as I was. Let's go home. The select three, Pepper, Oliver Perry, Lee, Town Charter, Drop, Green Hornet, Implicated. Read all about it, Green Hornet, still it large. That's the select three, Pepper. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. <laughs>